watching the brat. Chess with the brat, yeah. Get a subscriber tap. Chess with the brat. y'all welcome back to my channel if you're not already subscribed girl hurry up because you're gonna love it here i have the same setup as my last video because i'm not done with my room yet still and i was having technical difficulties with like getting my leds up and all that stuff and the decorations so this is the last video y'all are gonna see from me in this location so if the, the lighting is off i'm sorry if you don't like the quality i'm sorry oh it's it's not even focused girl we can't even start there i haven't been here in a minute i'm not gonna lie it's been a little minute it's been a little second but um i'm not even gonna like blame my mental health because i always do which it'd be real like uh your girl don't be lying like i'd be really struggling it's not really my mental health this time that caused this hiatus it was really technical difficulties with getting my room set up or whatever which that isn't what stopped me from making a video that's just what like prolonged the whole situation because I was trying to get my next video to be in my room but um I also was having problems with my editing software my videos weren't rendering my videos weren't exporting uploading none of that stuff so um and like corrupting files and stuff like that I don't know if you guys are catching my drift some of y'all are probably like girl what are you talking about corrupting files rendering I know y'all see the title and y'all are probably like girl you're lying this is clickbait or the title is a little bit wrong or you switched it up a little bit to try to get our attention no the title is exactly what i mean i mean exactly what i say and i titled this shit correctly okay this is the story of the time where me and my older brother which just for reference my brother is 26 years old right now and i am 22 i just turned 22 april 20th 420 i don't smoke we're not even gonna get into that. I wanna preface this video by saying like, I already know that the way that the video sounds or just in general, this story time could have gone really, really dark and it didn't get dark or anything like that. It didn't get dark. And it was like slick a situation where you can consider it like the word that rhymes with booming that starts with a G, G-R, you, you get what I'm saying? But this isn't that type of story. Like this isn't anything like super traumatized or anything like that. I would definitely put a trigger warning if it was something super crazy i mean it was wrong so boom y'all brother five years older than me he played basketball everybody liked him he had a bunch of friends stuff like that when he was this story time was when i was 16 so i need to do my little one 16 17 18 19 20, 20 he was like 21 20 and i was like 15 16 this is when the story time took place so i don't know about y'all but when i was younger i was definitely boy crazy like like boy insane for real like i had a million boyfriends in my head a million husbands at six years old like whole nine i was definitely boy crazy not too much though because not in that way like what you probably thinking what your little grown ass was probably doing when you was little but boy crazy in a sense of i had a crush on a lot of boys and i like boys that's what i mean by boy crazy when i was little little y'all i used to dead like carry my little american girl doll like i, I had an american girl doll obsession like Side note, I literally made one of my friends, I remember it was like 6th grade, 5th grade, I made one of my friends like promise that we would never stop playing with American Girl Dolls, like that we would bring them to high school and all that. Like I was delusional, next level delusional, even more delusional than I am now. I've been delusional y'all, born delusional. So like I would go to my brother's basketball games in like a dress, I wish I could find a picture. I could probably find a picture from the Ooh. birthday where I literally wore like these white church heels and like this blue and green flowy dress and a little tiara and i had my american girl dog and i like was walking into my brother's um little basketball game just feeling like everybody eyes was on me like you see something you like baby <laughs> not even in just the main character way because in a main character way but also like i felt like my brother's friends were crushing on me the whole basketball team wanted me whole time i looked like this oh, shit. like oh, i am shit. not joking y'all i feel like that's like a um a memory that we all share like when we were young we used to wear them little capri if you if you 2000s era you you wore them little colorful capri khaki shorts not capris they were khaki shorts like with the multicolors and the little collared shirts like i was definitely dressed like i should put the l in lgbtq now even though i put the b but y'all i used to look a mess but I, I don't know i just felt like i was a baddie like i probably just felt the essence of my baddie coming on like i knew i was gonna be a baddie in the future even though i wasn't a baddie then but i felt like i was a baddie then you get what i'm saying so like i said my brother had a tight little friend group from like 
from what I can remember, like first grade to now, my brother's circle is the same circle. I mean, a couple of them got knocked off. What do you mean by that? That sounds really bad. They're still alive. I don't mean knocked off like that. Keep in mind, my brother's like main, main friends. Like like I said, he had a lot of friends, but his main, main friends like that would come over to the house and hoop with him, play the game with him, come to like, you know, family functions and stuff like that. They were like older brothers to me. Like I, I wouldn't call them big brother or no corny like that, but they were like older brothers to me because I pretty much grew up with them, like knowing them and stuff like that. And they never tried it. I mean, when I got older and turned into a bad bitch, I'm not going to say that they never, you know, flirted with me or nothing like that i'm not even gonna hold y'all sorry brother so the perpetrator in this story time like the whole the main dude we gonna name him manny we gonna name him manny because he thought he was gonna use his tools and get handy with me so we gonna name him manny yeah basically i met manny after i met the other friends but he was still part of that friend group he just came later on and he would come to the house just not as much as the other ones would like for some reason manny would not I don't know, he just, maybe he just stuck out, stuck out to me. Maybe he did come as much as the other friends did. But I don't know, like, when he came around, y'all, I was, like, trying to look cute. Like, not really, though, because I didn't look cute. But what I thought was cute, I had a little crush on Manny is basically what I'm trying to say. Not too much, but, yeah. I had a crush on that. Well, I had a crush on a couple of my brother's friends, not gonna lie. But Manny was the one that I was really, like, you know, eyeballing, like, oh, he's cute. That's gonna be mine, like. I don't know how I'm going to get them, but I'm going to get them. If you got an older brother, then you know. I was nine. I wasn't looking at them in, in no, you know, promiscuous type of way. I was just looking at them because I liked what I saw. But this story isn't about me being nine. This story, again, is about me being 16. So everybody hold their little comments. And I don't want to hear it. This is not the hub. This isn't that type of story. But I'm just telling y'all the truth. Y'all know we love an accountable queen. So I'm just going to tell y'all the story how it is. So, yeah. Fast forward to when I was 15 years old and my birthday was coming around. Again, my birthday was 420 and um, I was turning 16. So, you know, your girl was turning big 16, finna get my L's, finna get my whip. Well, I didn't know if I was finna get a car or not, but you know, I was turning my, my milestone 16. I felt like I was grown. I was an adult, finna pay bills, finna pay taxes, the whole nine. Finna file my 4K1. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? 401k. Is that what it's called? 401k. Ready to retire. All of that. My brother, which we don't really need to give him a name. My brother's name, I call him Junior, so we're going to call him Junior. Junior ends up posting me. Um, He makes like this embarrassing ass Lomotif, Lomotif, whatever it's called. Or it was the flippogram. I don't remember which one was popular around the time. Um, I was 16 in 2017, so y'all can go dig if y'all care that much. But he put together like this little corny flippogram, basically putting pictures of me from when I was little and ugly and embarrassing pictures of him dunking on me up until like more recent pictures of me at the time when I was, you know, 16, young and turned, pretty as no, I'm kidding, y'all. I'm not even going to show y'all no pictures of me from then. I mean, y'all probably say that I looked, like, similar to how I look now or, like, that I looked all right. But I just cannot stand pictures of me from that era. Like, just corny. Like, no. The thing that made it different, my brother always used to make little birthday posts of me or whatever. But he never posted and tagged me. He would always just post it on his story or, like, on his feed. And then he would delete it the day later or whatever. But he would never tag me. Y'all, what is this hair doing? So, this time... He decides to tag me in the post. Like, he posted on his story and he tagged me. He tagged me kind of small, but he tagged me, baby. You could see the tag. So, we could really argue that this whole story happened because of him. Out of my brother's friends, like, the only ones that had already been following me were, like, two out of the main, main friend group. Like, they had been following me since I remember making my Instagram or whatever and being like, y'all follow me. Like, they were some of my first followers. I had told my family to follow me, stuff like that. It was more like that. But Manny didn't follow me. And again, my brother never tagged me in anything. So he tagged me in this post and I start getting followers from my brother's page. Like I'm seeing girls that are following my brother, following me. And Manny followed me from his page. So I get a little, we're going to say his little Instagram is Manny two times. Let's just say that, that that's his Instagram. If that's somebody's real Instagram, that's not him. His name ain't even Manny. Okay. Manny two times. I get a little notification. Manny two times started following you. And in this moment, when I see him follow me, 
I mean, of course I was like, ooh, like, ooh, like, ooh, don't play with me. But it wasn't given, like, I didn't think nothing of it because my some of my brother's friends, like I said, had already followed me. And he wasn't the only one who just followed me after my brother had posted me. So I was kind of just, like, feeling myself, but it wasn't too, like, I wasn't doing too much. Like, I wasn't like, ooh, this means something. Like, he's, he's gonna be my husband. Like, no. Not that damn delusional, okay? I already had like a little dinner with my family planned this night. I think it was like at or Charlie's or something like that. Like I, I'm, it's never, it was never bougie. I like Applebee's, I like Olive Garden, all that st still to this day. So I think I was having like a little dinner with my friend, like one or two of my friends and then my family. Y'all, even now, like I still only do like birthday dinners for my birthday. Like I'm not good at pre-planning my birthday. I've never had nobody just plan out my birthday for me. Like, my birthdays really be mid. So boom, I have the dinner or whatever and my mom ended up surprising me with my beautiful first car. It was a silver Hyundai Sonata or like a gray Hyundai Sonata. That, that was my baby, y'all. Like, it was a newer car too. It was like two years old at the time. But I loved that car, y'all. Like, literally, we was like walking out of the old Charlie's to go back to the car and she was like, oh, you don't need to come with us. And I was like, why? I'm like, girl, you leaving me on my birthday in the parking lot? And she was like, no, that's your car. And she handed me my keys, like, and she was taking pictures of me and um, having me open all the doors and sit in the car and look at the features, all this stuff. Because like I said, yeah, my mama wasn't rich or nothing like that. Like, I had thought that I was going to have to, like, you know, work and buy my own car type shit. Like, I didn't know my mom was going to buy me a car. She didn't tell me she was going to buy me a car. It was not already decided that when I turned 16, they're getting me a car. Like, I was working at Urgo at the time. Ooh, I can't tell y'all where I was working. I was working at, um a place at the time like I had a job and everything I was working so it was like I was surprised that they got me a car I was super grateful and stuff like that but boom when they showed me the car I had taken like a picture of the wheel or whatever or like my hand on the wheel like you know I took my little pictures like I wanted everybody to know that I was grown like I have a car now who wants me to scoop them you want to ride you want to ride you get a ride you get a ride like I was I was posting it up on a gram not gonna hold you i don't care of course my friends are sliding up like hey you lit come scoop you lit pull up you lit what we doing tomorrow you lit can you take me to work in the morning like everybody's lit i'm lit everybody's hyping me up everybody's like oh your car's so nice if i can find a little video or a picture or whatever of the car and like what i was posting or whatever i'll show y'all any receipt that i have i'm gonna put it up on the screen so i'm lit like i'm posting it up and then boom what do y'all think? Manny two times messaged you or whatever, comment whatever, slid up on my story and said, Oh, turn you up. You grown now. With a little party emoji, right? So in my head, y'all, call me delusional. I do not care. I was in denial. I'm in my head like, okay, like, he's like my brother's friend. He knows, like, he's he's known me for some years. He watched me, like, not grow up, grow up, but like, you know, he, he watched me in my teen years and I'm still a teen, but like, it's not, it's not too far-fetched for him to say like you grown like he's probably playing like he's not being for real He don't really think I'm grown because he's grown, right? Wrong, so it had to have been like the next day. I'm still cuz I'm still posting More people that ended up posting me for my birthday or I'm, I'm reposting happy belated birthday posts or whatever It's like the next morning and I'm reposting them on my story I don't remember if they had like the feature where you can just repost it like directly or if you had to screenshot it and post it up I'm pretty sure I had to screenshot their posts of me and post it on my story and do it that way But basically I was just finishing up all the posts and the new posts that people had made for me on my birthday Yeah, all of the people that I had posted on my actual birthday none of them were dudes or anything like that so the next day when I'm doing like the last post or whatever, I have like a homeboy that I end up posting. I remember he had just said something like happy birthday twin and like I, it had like a heart. I screenshotted it. I posted it up and I was just like, thank you with a heart. And it was just my homeboy, y'all. Like it wasn't nobody that I was messing with, nobody that I messed with before. It was literally just my homeboy. Like literally is giving... I'm gonna dap you up when I see you type shit. It was nothing like that. But I had reposted it on my story. Why a couple hours later, Manny gonna slide up talking about some, this your new little boyfriend? You're in my business? What do you mean, new little boyfriend? Are you trying me right now? Or are you trying to be funny or what? No, but but you can be in my business because why you care, babe? Like, why, why, are you, why do you care? Like, what you mean? Do you want to be my new little boyfriend? Is that, is that why you asking me that? Like, let me know. Just, just say the word. I respond to his little message and I'm like, new? Because like I said, I might have had a boyfriend like prior to this, to my birthday, but it wasn't nothing I was posting up for real. Or, like somebody I was bringing around him. Like it, he wouldn't know if I had a nigga or not. Like he wasn't in my business or nothing like that. And I definitely learned context clues in like kindergarten. So I'm like, 
new what you mean new because you definitely implying i just had a boyfriend or i just had a nigga like what are you trying to say right now what are you trying to get at let me know he was like i just assumed he was better not be better not be better not be and if he is what you gonna do i'm like nah this is just my homeboy it's nothing like that like definitely not and he's like okay say less say less Baby, say more. What are you trying to, why are you asking me these questions? Like, y'all, I'm getting conflicted at this point. Like, y'all, at this point, I'm like, y'all, he wanted me bad. Like, he wants me real bad. Like, you want me bad. Just tell me that you want me. Like, that's all you really gotta do. So, in my head, y'all, I'm like, okay, Manny is a little too indirect for me. I don't like these mixed signals. It's giving me anxiety. I don't like it. Like, I, I feel like he's flirting, but I don't know that he's flirting. And I don't want to jump the gun and try to flirt with him, like, directly first. Because if I'm, if I'm like, reading this all the way wrong, like, my brother could find out, get mad at me, and be like, what is wrong with you? So, I'm just like, okay, y'all think that I asked him straight up? Like, what do y'all think I did? Tell me. Take a second and guess. Y'all think that I asked him, like, oh, do you like me? Or, like, are you flirting with me? No, I did not. What I did was I posted a bunch of cute videos of me on my story. Duh. Like, what else is there to do? Like, you just followed me. You are cute. You think that I'm cute. And, well, I think that you think that I'm cute. So, we about to see. So, I'm about to flood my story with a bunch of cute-ass videos of me. And we're going to see what you're talking about. If you don't talk about nothing, then it wasn't nothing. And I was wrong. But, y'all think I was wrong? He ends up folding like a mother napkin and he's like oh who you trying to be cute for or something like that he's just like who you trying to be cute for who you being cute for or whatever something like that i had to say something basically like oh so you think i'm cute something like that he's all like oh i don't want to give you a big head you already got a big head like he starts joning on me talking about how i have a big head and he don't want to make it bigger but i mean if the shoe fits like that so he's basically calling me cute trying to be playful trying to be funny and i don't like that funny like i used to be really insecure about my head y'all this is how y'all know because i remember specifically he made a joke about how big my head was already and y'all i do got a big head and i got a big forehead that's not a secret but young thug said the baddest got the biggest forehead so i'm not even tripping about that but i that used to really like sting that used to really hit a nerve after he said that i had like stopped responding because i remember it was late and I just needed my confirmation. Like, all I wanted to know is if he was feeling me. And I felt like he was feeling me. He wanted me bad. So, I went ahead and went to sleep. I don't want to put out the wrong message ever. So, I'm always going to put a disclaimer. If you don't want to hear the disclaimer, skip, like, probably 10 seconds or whatever. Or you can just listen to me because I have something to say. So, um... Yeah, I might have been young. I might have been 16, 15, whatever. This dude was definitely not a minor. So I don't want you guys to ever think like, oh, I want to be like her. I want to talk to an older boy. Like, I know it feels flattering to talk to an older guy when you're younger and stuff like that. But that's a red flag and it can become really dangerous and something bad can happen. And not even that. It's a red flag. Like, if an older dude is not praying i mean it's it's preying on you technically but if a younger dude is trying to talk to you i mean an older dude is trying to talk to you and he's even if he's telling you like oh you're mature for your age like you're just really smart i'm just feeling you like age ain't nothing but a number like yeah no age is more than something than a number like there what the definitely not a good thing it's a red flag if an older guy wants maturity he can go for a girl his age there is a reason that that boy is talking to you and not a girl his age or a girl older than him so let's not do that same the other way around older girls do not need to be talked to no little ass boy as well so don't do that if you are already in that situation get out of it because i do not care what that man is telling you i don't care what dreams he's telling you i don't care him him telling you you're mature you might be mature but baby not as mature as he is supposed to be and obviously something's wrong if he's talking to you and not somebody his damn age i'm not playing with you so yeah, I'm all flattered. I'm all kicking my little feet up in the air and twirling my hair. Like, on, like I'm just on cloud nine. Like, I'm like, okay, like, my little crush folded for me. Little old me, little old Chester. Like, he wants me too. Like, okay, what are we finna get into though? Like, I, I don't know. This is foreign territory for me because this isn't just some regular dude. This is my brother's homeboy. Literally, one of my brother's closest damn friends. And before y'all go saying like, oh, you wrong for that. Like, your brother, you shouldn't be talking to that. Like, duh, bitch, I know. You don't got to tell me that. Like, I was 16. I'm 22 now. You don't think I know that by now? You don't You don't think I know that by now? You don't got to tell me. 
You don't gotta tell me what my brother already told me. My brother knows about this story, so don't even do too much. So the next thing that I remember Manny interacting with, I had posted like my long skinny ass fingers and I, I, I didn't have my nails done. I was basically saying how I needed my nails done. Now, I know y'all gonna be like, ooh, you wanted somebody to pay for your nails? You're, you're one of them. Like, I never was the type of girl to post up my nails and be like, somebody paid for them. I probably used to do that with food and like that when I was younger, or maybe I did, I don't remember, but again, not too much. I was 16, 22 now. So I had posted that I, I wanted to get my nails done or whatever. And I had, I think I had put like a little, I don't know if those posts were like the talk to me things where you can like type in a little bubble. I don't know if that was a thing or not, but I had basically asked for people's opinions on what I should get done to my nails. Manny asked gonna slide up talking about some let me pick the color. Now, another little fruit for thought or food for thought for y'all, don't ever let a man pick the color of your nails if he's not paying for it. And that's just that on that. I don't care. Call me a gold digger. I do not care. I am definitely not no gold digger, but you're not about to pick the color that's going on my fingers if you're not paying for them. Why are you telling me what to get on my fingers if you're not paying for my nails? Hmm? You don't have no control here, baby. So don't let no man pay for your nails. I mean, don't let no man pick the color of your nails if he's not paying for it. That's just that. He's gonna say some, oh, let me pick the color of your nails or whatever. And my dumb ass, what did I do? I absolutely was gonna let him pick the color of my nails. What? <laughs> the boy was hella specific. He was like, I remember he told me to get like French tips, but the tip be pink or whatever. Like he was telling me what to get on my nails basically. And um, yeah, so I told him that I got him or whatever. And he told me to send him a picture of my nails when they were done and he sent me his phone number. So this is when everything starts going left where I should have been, I should have just minded my business and kept, either kept the, the conversation, you know, cute, kept it cute and simple on the DMs and, and not move the situation to iMessage, but you live and you learn, right? At this point, I know that we, you know, we flirting with each other, we texting on the phone and shit like that, so at this point, I'm not conflicted, I'm not confused no more, and that's just what it is. So fast forward two more weeks, we've been talking every day, we've been texting and stuff like that. We had only just been texting, like, I don't even think that we had gotten on FaceTime. My brother ends up hosting a little kickback. Y'all already know, we, me, my brother, my brother's wife, we always done kickbacks at the house, hosted kickbacks at the house. Everybody come, everybody play Jenga, everybody drink, everybody play truth or dare, everybody do this, everybody do that. And back then, when we was younger and our legs, well, I'm still young. Let me stop acting like I'm an old ass lady. But back then, when my brother was athletic and everybody was young as stuff, we used to do manhunt, we used to do all of that fun stuff in the backyard and all that so my brother ends up hosting a little kickback or whatever it was a little bonfire kickback and the way that my house was like it was like one of a, a house that we have rented it had like a little um bonfire pit thing in the backyard and like a lot of like woods and so he ends up telling me he wants to do a little bonfire kickback and that I can invite my friends or woo doo doo woo. And it was basically gonna be me, my brother, his friends, my brother's girlfriend at the time, which is now his wife. I always tell y'all that because I don't know, I just like to put respect on a relationship, but my brother's wife was there. I'm gonna say girlfriend for the sake of the video because everybody was really young. So my brother's girlfriend was there, my brother, me. Um, I don't even think I invited a friend. And um, yeah, so basically, I was getting nervous because I knew that Manny was going to end up coming to this kickback. I could have filled a damn pool with the sweat that was accumulating on my damn forehead about me seeing Manny at this damn kickback. I didn't know what was going to go on. I didn't know if he was going to talk. I didn't know if he was going to be ducking and dodging because my brother was going to be there. I didn't know what the to expect. But yeah, and at the time, I don't know if y'all remember from old story times around 16, I was not on like... I wasn't really drinking at the time. I drank mainly like Rita's at these little parties and stuff like that. I wasn't really taking shots and stuff like that. Not heavily, at least. If I did, I probably took one or two shots. But yeah, I, I was off of a Rita. And yeah, so fast forward to the party. And I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know what's going on with my camera. It's acting like it's never seen my face before. I know I haven't made a video in a while, but I feel like my... my camera is acting real dumb right now it's not focusing on me so if it's ever blurred and i can't tell because i already can't see i'm sorry i'm all nervous i'm sweating bullets i'm finna fart i'm nervous farting and all that because y'all yeah, the type of girl that i was like yeah i was boy crazy but i was the type of girl that you invite me over your house i could text you a million freaky things and then be sitting on the edge of the uh, the edge of the bed with my purse still on like socks on not even you know trying to even scoot next to you or nothing like that like i was scary when it came to boys like i might have talked to you i'll pull up but i'm definitely not doing nothing with you i you might not even get a kiss out of me I'm not even gonna hold you i'm hoping old boy don't even 
pull up like i'm hoping he doesn't even show up so i don't even have to worry about it i didn't tell my sister-in-law like i didn't tell my brother's girlfriend at the time i didn't tell nobody that i was talking to him other than like my homegirls and stuff like they knew that we had been texting and stuff like that because they weren't the ops like they wasn't finna tell my brother so yeah your girl was shin bricks i had ended up texting manny and i was just like so are we gonna talk like i know that you're coming to the kickback or whatever are we gonna talk when you come or like what's up like i just want to know what's up what's the plan are we telling my brother that we're talking like what are we doing and of course that probably scared him like bad he was probably thinking like why would this girl tell him that like what why is she asking me are we gonna tell her brother like what do she mean like he probably had his whole little plan or whatever he had going on in his head and he was probably like this girl is done why is she asking me this but i was gonna ask because i didn't want him to pull up and me be like you know what i'm saying basically what happened i didn't want what happened to happen and me be embarrassed or me be pissed off i just wanted to know what was tea so he ends up leaving me smooth on red which pissed me off so now i'm walking around with an attitude now i'm mad now i got an attitude and yeah he didn't end up responding so i'm thinking like okay maybe he's getting ready maybe he's on the way maybe he's brushing his teeth maybe he's scratching his butt i don't know what he's doing but i'm not going to let this like make me think that he just doesn't want to answer the question again delusional i needed that question mark feature on the messages like the little emphasize all that shit i needed that bad in this moment but I just left it alone. So everybody else gets there. I'm listening to Young Thug. I'm eating my little meatballs. I'm vibing, drinking my little Rita or whatever. And boom, Manny ends up getting there. I'm gonna show y'all what he did. He said, he walks past me, don't say nothing. Didn't look at me, didn't, didn't acknowledge me, nothing. He just walked smooth past me like I don't even exist. Don't play with me like that. He came by himself. He acknowledges everybody else. He's saying what's up to everybody. Dapping everybody up. He usually says hey to me, y'all. Which, if anything, he made himself look sus more than anything else. Because usually he, he sees me, he says, hey, Chester, or whatever. But he did not he did not acknowledge me at all. So I'm like, hmm, okay. All right, bet. So I take it upon myself, and I'm like, hey, Manny. And he's like, what's up? And then he keeps talking to the dudes. Like, my brother and everybody else. So I'm like, hmm, Okay. So I end up getting my little Rita and going to my room. I go upstairs and I go in my room and I'm pissed. I got an attitude even more now because now you're playing. Because this is why I wanted you to communicate with me. This is why I wanted you to tell me. You could have just said you didn't want to talk. I probably wouldn't have liked it very much. But I would have liked it better than me saying what's up to you and you being like, mm -hmm, son. as if we haven't been talking every single day for two weeks plus. So like a childish 16 year old that he shouldn't even be looking at. I go on my story and I'm posting text me, I'm posting pull up, I'm posting kickback, I'm posting what's the move, I'm posting talk to me, I'm posting all of that. Like FaceTime me, somebody FaceTime me, like I'm being petty, posting all of that shit up on my story, hoping Manny will see it and be pissed because now I want you to be pissed because you're pissing me off. So he views my story and he sides up and he's like, are you done? Am I done? maybe but i left his ass on red just like he left me on red when we were when i texted him before he got there and i went about my little business and y'all i end up going downstairs to the kitchen to get me like a little snack or whatever probably like 30 minutes later and i see him through the window like the way that my house was set up it was like you go downstairs like probably like 10 stairs and then that's the dining room and the kitchen you go down like four little tiny steps and it's like a lower level where the living room is it's like connected to the kitchen though like you could still it's like one big room it's not divided by any wall so i could see him oh and like the back there was like a screen door to go outside to the backyard and like you can roll the um like the blinds were like electric not electric but like there was like a knob that you pull up and down and it was like the lines were in the glass and it would like flip you get y'all you, get what i'm saying that don't even matter but i basically could see him through the um the window outside so he has a like locking eyes with me or whatever and then he comes inside so when he comes inside I, I smile or whatever but then i go upstairs like i take my butt upstairs because i'm still pissed and can y'all imagine what happened i'm just kidding y'all that is definitely not what happened Ooh, y'all nasty y'all are nasty a little bit after that i get me a little text message that says come here so what did i do i came there well i was like 
come where like I didn't know where he was but he had texted me and he was like come to the living room or something like that so my attitude immediately fades because I'm thinking like maybe when he was outside he talked to my brother maybe he didn't acknowledge me because he wanted to talk to my brother first and then now he's telling me to come here anybody could have seen us like talking in the living room so I'm like okay he wants to talk to me now so obviously he talked to my brother so my, I don't have no attitude no more so I go downstairs and I'm basically like we're standing where like the the like it's like a blind spot of the window i guess like not i didn't think it was on purpose but probably was so we're standing in the little kitchen or whatever and we're talking and i'm just like he's like why do you have a, like he's like why are you still why are you mad or are you done being mad or something like that I'm, i look at him like he's stupid because i'm like nigga you didn't acknowledge me you didn't text me back you didn't say nothing to me so what do you mean like you don't even like me for real you obviously not fucking with me for real he's all like tessa what do you expect like your brother would not be cool with the idea of us talking to each other like i don't want to jeopardize my friendship with him like this is obviously something that i gotta keep from your brother like you know what i'm saying like he's basically just like what did you expect so i'm like okay so you basically are cutting me off so you told me to come downstairs so you can tell me information that you could have texted me i started like not raising my voice but i started getting the attitude like i'm like you could have just te texted me that you don't want to talk to me because of my brother or whatever like you could have just said that you could have saved all the two weeks of texting me as well he ends up cutting me off or whatever he's like just to chill like i'm not cutting you off i'm just letting you know why i was on that timing and why i wasn't really talking to you when i came in here I'm just explaining myself basically and I'm just like so you want to hide us talking from everybody basically is what you're telling me like you don't like me for real is you're just playing with me like that's what that's what I said I was like so basically you're just playing with me and you don't really like me for real so this is where it gets corny y'all he ends up pulling me to him or whatever like grabbing my face and kissing me real quick or whatever and he's like I do f with you and y'all I'm not gonna lie it was purring okay there was a heartbeat but I'm just like, mm, I don't know. Like, I had a gut feeling that I shouldn't be talking to him or, like, kissing him, talking to him or none of that because it's like you want to talk to me even though you're my brother's friend, but you also don't want to let my brother know. So it's like it can't never be nothing serious. So, like, you know, but I'm not really, like, the wheels aren't really fully turning. I'm losing marbles, if anything. Like, I'm not even thinking it like, I'm not even thinking like that fully at this point. He ends up going back outside and he's just like, I'm gonna text you and I go back upstairs. And I'm pretty sure that wraps up the like whole rest of the night. I don't remember anything else happening from that night. So I end up going to sleep and that's that. We kept talking and like for a few days, he would be like, oh, don't drive you, like ride the bus to school so I could pick you up from school. Like he would pick me up from school sometimes and he would take me just home or we would go get food or chop it up in his car. Like I never went to his house or anything like that. We never really went on dates. Like we wouldn't go do anything together other than like grab food, do through the drive through eat it in the car, talk to each other, shit like that. And he would come over to my house, obviously still to hang out with my brother and stuff like that, but we wouldn't be talking. We would just be texting. Like he would text me while he was hanging out with my brother. So, and again, he it would be just him and my brother and like one or two of their other friends. It would never be like just him and my brother. I will be in my room just doing my own thing or whatever and we would be texting, but he would be like, they would be watching Family Guy or they would be watching like Wild and Now or you know just just chilling in the room they wouldn't always be outside hooping like they would just be doing different things so this is when stuff starts to get like bad and a little bit uncomfy so at first he's texting me like little things like oh send me a picture like of my face like he's like send me a selfie and i started to get like a weird feeling in my stomach because i'm thinking like if i send you a selfie even if it is just of my face like what if my brother sees it behind your shoulder like if my brother sees me sending a picture of myself to you then what the like he's gonna know something's up so I, I i was still sending him the selfie but i was just thinking like mm, i don't know this is getting a little risky like i don't know if he has a risk kink i don't know if that's the thing but it started to make me feel kind of uneasy but it just started with him asking me to send selfies and him text me little you know flirty things or whatever when he would be right next to my brother i guess like he was into that i don't know but that's what it started with right not, not nothing too shabby nothing too crazy Hold on, y'all. I gotta change the battery. This is gonna die. Mind y'all, we never really argued about anything. Like, I didn't want to tell him, like, oh, I don't want to send you selfies. Because I liked him. So, I didn't want to, like, cause a problem out of something that's not that deep. Because, like, the only thing that we had ever argued about is, like, I started to tell him, like, let me know before you just pop up at the house. Because, you know, if I like you, I don't want you just popping up at the house when I look like I got my freaking my spongebob pajama pants like now i don't give a fuck but like i was 16 i was it was very much pick me i wanted to do my hair before he came over the house or you know what i'm saying i wanted to have my lashes on i wanted to have my 
you know, I wanted to have my lip gloss on. I didn't want to be looking crusty and musty walking around the house and you just pop up. So I was like, we would get into it about that. And he would be like, girl, I was seeing you in your natural, normal form before we started talking. So like, don't do too much. But we were not like arguing and shit like that. So I didn't want to start no argument about me sending him selfies. I didn't think it was that serious. Yeah, so he started to get a little bit persistent where he would be like oh send me like a he would start asking me to send him booty pictures and stuff like that and when i was 16 i was not sending no booty pictures and shit like that so i would just tell him like oh i don't want to do that like i would be like oh you you crazy like i'm not doing that like i would be flirty about it but i was like no basically no i'm not doing that i'm not sending you that and he would be like okay but he would be like just come here real quick and i'd be like come where like my brother is here what do you mean come here? he would be like uh go to the bathroom <laughs> call the police or he would be like um let me come to your room real quick and just just being hella pushy like it was giving you know he wanted to clap like he wanted to clap me like that's all i don't know like it was just making me uncomfortable and i started to not like that very much and i started telling my homegirl like i don't know like i would send screenshots of what he would say and she was like girl like it's giving he's desperate like why is he telling you like he's he started with little wholesome oh send me a picture of you you're so pretty send me a, a picture of you and now we're in the same house and you're texting me to meet you in the bathroom like what you think it's gonna go down what what type of do you take me for before he started saying go to the bathroom he would be like come downstairs and he would give me like a little kiss or whatever or he would hug up on me and stuff like that when we were downstairs but like for a split second and then he would run back upstairs like just little stuff like that i don't know if he thought he was gonna be in one of them videos you know what i'm saying or or i don't know what he thought was gonna happen but it was not gonna be that i know that much so yeah, I started to get uncomfortable with it. I chop it up with my homegirl. She's just like, yeah, girl, he got to go. Like, I'm like, girl, I'm about to cut him off over this. Like, I don't like this. It's making me uncomfortable. I'm not ready for nothing that he seems to be ready for. I'm definitely not finna, you know, do none of that with him. So, um, she's basically like, yeah, girl, just cut him off. So, I don't know about y'all, but I used to type in my notes messages, like, lovey-dovey messages, angry messages argument like messages paragraphs shit like that i used to type it up in my notes maybe it's the ap lang in me i don't know but i used to like you know make a little draft of what i was gonna say copy and paste it send it like that boom 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 and y'all thank god for icloud i still have the note and i'm going to read it to y'all i'll be liking to start over whenever i get like a new phone but like notes i have a lot of passwords like family passwords and netflix password for the family like i have a lot of important stuff in my notes so i always end up transferring my notes to each phone so i'm about to read y'all the note that i typed and y'all it's corny i was 16 years old and this is exactly why i'm gonna read it to y'all because it's bad like for real i okay i'm just gonna read it it says this definitely ain't working one it's too risky two you barely claim me Three, you obviously don't take me seriously. Four. And yes, it, it's still going. I'm at four now. Four, you probably just want to F me. And I'm N-O-T in spaces in caps. Not going. Five, my brother would, again, the spaces in all caps, K-I-L-L, you, and probably me too. Six, there's obviously a reason you're talking to me and not somebody your age. Ooh, y'all. I started coming into my senses. Seven, I'm not nobody's secret. Eight, you're friendly at as F. Nine, I'm running out of reasons, but I don't really need any more. Ten, you're blocked. Ooh, y'all, so corny. I cannot believe I said that. I remember sending that to him while I was at school. I blocked him immediately. Immediately after I sent him that because I already said you're blocked. I can't tell you you're blocked and then not block you. Like, I love blocking people, y'all, to this day. You piss me off, blocked. You made me mad, blocked. I don't like you no more, blocked. Block, 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 block. I block everybody. My block list is long as so I blocked him and I didn't, I stopped get caring at that point. Cause once somebody makes me feel like, like I got the ick. I, once somebody makes me feel like you want just the cookie from me or like you think you're going to get the cookie and not be my man. Like, no, like I, again, y'all already know, I don't shame anybody for doing shit like that. Casual sex, stuff like that. For one, I was not sexually active at 16, but even if I was, I'm not the type of person to want to do nasty things with you and we're not like in a relationship. We're not, you know, we don't have a established connection. So it was never going to give that I was going to meet you in the bathroom. It was just never going to get that. I stopped caring. Like, I mean, I was like sad a little bit, but like we hadn't been talking that long for me to be crying rivers about the situation. I didn't really care that much. I drive home in my car or whatever and I see his freaking car like parked outside of my house or whatever. And I'm just like, bro, I'm not going to do Uh, what the fuck? Why did that turn off? okay whoa 
Y'all, the lighting is not being my friend right now. But yeah, so I end up cutting him off. I see him in the driveway. I go to his car and I'm like, go home. And I walk in the house like I'm being cold to him at this point because it's like, you really tried it. And like, I really should tell my brother, but I, I was not about to tell my brother because my brother would have been mad, like, like really mad. And my brother, he's a Scorpio. I don't know if y'all know about Scorpios or horoscopes. I don't know too much about it, but I've always heard Scorpios are hella nonchalant. I've never seen my brother mad. But like, or I, I wouldn't often see my brother mad, but when I would see him mad, he would be like mad for real. Like, I was not about to tell my brother about that as much as I wanted to, cause it's like, ew, like you're telling your, like one of your best friends, little sister to meet you in the bathroom. Ew. He ends up leaving eventually. I end up making my little music leave videos and just doing me. Like I didn't really care. Like I really wasn't stunning y'all. Like I wish I could have, I could have recorded a video about how I truly did not care. Like I was literally just, vibing waiting for my brother to get home because my brother would get home from from wherever he was when i got off of school like sometimes we would go like even though i had my car i love being a passenger princess still to this day i don't care that i drive i've had my license since i was 16 and i still would rather somebody drive me somewhere than me drive so my brother whenever he had errands to run or if he was gonna go to walmart or go get food i would ride with him um instead of me driving somewhere like i would just go with him or even if i didn't have no errands to run or if i didn't need none from the store i would just ride with him sometimes when he went places so this particular day my brother ends up getting home and basically he says like he's gonna go to the store and he's gonna go you know to his plug or whatever um and to get food after and he asked me if i wanted to come with him so i did so my job i really didn't hear from Manny like for the whole rest of the day like I didn't hear nothing from him I didn't block him on Instagram which that was my first mistake but I didn't end up blocking him on Instagram I really only blocked his phone number after I sent him the text like I wasn't doing all, like I wasn't that pressed where I was gonna block him off of everything I just wanted to block his his opportunity to be able to text me back so yeah I ended up riding with my brother I told him um to take me to the store like that so we're riding or whatever and yeah I remember specifically we ended up going to Taco Bell before going to his plug like we went to the store we did what we needed to do at the store and then we were stopping at Taco Bell and then we were gonna go to his plug so we're in the Taco Bell line about to order it's like a little I don't know how long the line was but I remember we were sitting like listening to music and just scrolling on our phones and shit like that like we weren't ordering or anything like that so we had to have been waiting we had to have been waiting to order so my homegirl ends up sending me a post on instagram i don't know if it was like in my dm or what or no it had to have been in my dm i don't know if she just dm me something or sent me a meme or something but my homegirl ends up dming me and the little banner on my phone comes up that she sent me a dm so i ended up clicking it like my phone is like out like i'm i'm on my phone brightness is up i didn't have no privacy screen nothing like that so i end up opening the dm with me and my homegirl and i respond to her or whatever and then i slide out of it really like i slide out of it and like the second or third dm is my thread with manny <laughs> and my heart drops y'all like because i don't know if my brother's looking at my phone or not like he didn't really ever go through my phone or snoop on my phone but like i was hoping that my brother did not see it i didn't want to go back on it and delete it just in case he didn't see it and then like he sees it while i'm trying to delete it so i'm just heart starts beating fast i'm sweating the bullets again i'm farting again i'm about to throw up and i'm like oh my god i hope this man did not see the thread why did i not delete the thread why did i not block him on instagram and then delete the thread i don't know he doesn't end up saying anything to me like right after that so i'm like i don't know i'm trying to look at my peripheral to see if he like i'm a little cross-eyed so i couldn't tell if he was looking at me in his peripheral or if he wasn't looking at me i could not really tell what he was looking at so i'm like oh my goodness like i'm just trying to be quiet i'm acting all awkward like y'all i was stressing he doesn't say nothing to me i tell him what i want he orders our food we get to the next window he grabs the food and then he ends up parking the car and he just looks at me so i'm pretty sure my voice cracked and i farted again and i was like what and y'all i don't know what the what the hell was going on in his head but like he was looking at me like he was looking at me like he wanted to murder me like he was looking at me like so he ends up looking at me and he's like i know i didn't see many in your dm <laughs> i'm in danger and in my head i'm like oh i hope you didn't like i really hope you didn't i really wish you didn't bro i really i really wish you didn't so i'm looking at him and i'm just like I, i'm just shitty like i don't have nothing to say i'm looking at him just like blank in the face 
And I'm just like, what are you talking about? And he's like, Chesta, I'm not about to fight you over your phone. I really don't want to have to do all that. I don't want to grab your phone from you. If he's not in your DM, show me your DM right now. Just go to the top of your DMs and tell me that that's not Manny right there. I don't know that I can do that, bro. I don't know if I can tell you that's not Manny. I don't know if I can do that. I open my DM and I scroll past it super fast, just praying to the gods that he did not see it. And he ends up taking my phone out of my hand and scrolling back up to it. And he's just like going through the DM now. He's reading all the messages. He's swiping through the entire thread, y'all. This man is reading the entire thread. And at the bottom is his phone number. So he goes to iMessage to our freaking thread and reads that too. Oh. So he reads all the messages, he's silent. I'm looking over like, I don't know what to do. I'm trembling, finna have a seizure, all of that. And he ends up dropping my phone in the little, like middle console thing in the car and he's just like, bet. He's like, okay, bet. He don't say nothing else, he just says bet and then he starts driving off. So I'm scared and I, for like five minutes, I don't say nothing, he's just driving and I, I realize that we're not in the normal direction of his plug. I've been to his plug's house before but like with him but i don't know like specifically how to get there i just start having a feeling like we're not going in the right direction so i ended up asking him like where are we going he just ignores me and keeps driving so we end up getting to a neighborhood i don't recognize and we end up parking on the outside of this house and i see manny's car parked in the driveway so my heart drops and i'm like oh shit. like this is his plug let me just pray that manny is his plug and he not even mad for real they finna smoke some and he finna just you know, they finna just talk it out, like, oh my goodness, like, why are we here? So, and again, I never been to Manny's house, so I didn't know where we were and nothing like that. I had never been there before. And the way this house was set up, it was like a long driveway, and the, the garage was like on the side, like on the right side of the house. So you could see the garage, but you couldn't see into the garage. But the garage was open. So my brother ends up getting out the car and locking me in the car, like, not locking me in the car, like, like I couldn't have got out, because I could have got out. But he locks the doors with me inside the car and takes his key. So like if I would've opened it, it would've started, like the alarm would've started going off or whatever. But he locks the car and then he starts walking into the driveway, I mean into the garage. Mind you, again, I can't see into the garage. I can't see Manny, I can't see nothing. I just see that Manny's car is there and my brother's walking in through the garage. So after like 15 minutes, my brother ends up walking back. He don't got no, you know, gas on him. So I'm like, okay, so this wasn't his plug, obviously. Like, obviously Chester, read the room, duh. Thank you for saying the obvious. But he comes back to the car sweating and breathing really hard and looking really mad. He's not all like, he don't got no marks on him or nothing. So I'm like, did he fight him or was he just yelling? Like, what, what just happened? So I'm just like, are you okay? He, he ignores me. He's just like, stop, stop talking to me. And he ends up driving us home. So we get there and I'm just like, Junior, like, I started trying to talk to him or whatever. And he's just like, go to, like, just get out of my car or whatever. Like, he's mad at me, y'all. He does not want to talk to me. Which, rightfully so, brother. Rightfully so. We're good now. That's my homie. Like, we all good now. But yeah, he was not with me. He did not want to talk to me at all. So we get back to the house. My brother's girlfriend ends up coming over there and I tell her all about the situation. And she's just like, girl, do not talk to your brother. Like, not right now. He is too mad at you. Like, y'all, literally, I guess he ended up beating Manny up. And like, Manny's people were over there. And my brother's um, girlfriend at the time was telling me like, they were threatening to call the police on him. Like, they're threatening to press charges. Because I guess whatever my brother ended up doing was while Manny's folks was there. And um, apparently like my brother was basically telling them like, if you press charges on me for that, then I'm gonna press charges on your son for talking to my sister. She's a minor, like she's 16 years old. And y'all even like Manny was literally trying to plead his case talking about like, oh 16 in Georgia is Romeo and Juliet law. Like it would have been consensual. And my brother was just disrespected, not even just cause I was younger, but also because that's like his best friend or whatever. Obviously they're not friends no more and they weren't friends after the situation. And I don't know, I didn't see Manny after, like I didn't see him in the garage. I didn't see what happened to him. I didn't know if he was alive or still breathing or anything, but I ended up seeing him like a month later at the gas station or whatever with some girl. So obviously he lived through the, you know, situation, but yeah, I guess my I guess he got the pause put on him by my brother and my brother never spoke about the situation with me ever again like to this day. I mean, we spoke about it a little bit like like 2 years ago or whatever like just in a joking way like in passing um but yeah, like he was he gave me silent treatment for like 2 weeks after that. He was mad as 
and y'all not gonna lie like anytime that i was around his friends after the situation i was like walking on issues like i didn't even want to say hey i didn't even want to talk to them like i it was all in my head as well though because none of those None of them were stunting me. Like, none of them were stunting me. But I just didn't even want to look that way. I didn't want to make my brother feel like I was going to snatch one of, his, one of his other friends up or nothing like that. Like, y'all, it was so embarrassing. I would see them and give them the little, like, hey. Like, the little, you know, how them, how the, how the printer paper people, which I love my printer paper people, okay? My grandpa is a printer paper person. Not my blood grandpa, but let's not do too much in the comments, but you know how they be smiling at us they be like that's how i would do my brother's friends from from then on how oh, hey and that was in the story y'all like oh like it was embarrassing i'm glad that the heat was not put too much on me because i was the minor in the situation and again like on a more serious note it's never the minor's fault if you're talking to an older guy it's the older guy's fault like yeah i should have had better judgment and stuff like that but like i was a minor i was 16 i was younger younger brain younger development so it should have been on him a 20 or 21 year old dude to know i don't have no business talking to this 16 year old girl especially with this 16 year old girl being my homeboy's little sister no like doing too much and yeah my brother was livid my brother um i don't think he ended up telling my mom about it so mama if you didn't know now you know but yeah that's the end of the story time though you guys i'm sorry for the long wait i don't know how long this video was i hope you guys did enjoy it i have an even juicier story time coming up next and i did want to let you guys know that this kind person reached out to me in my email basically letting me know about their organization that they do basically what they're doing is trying to feed homeless children that are in ghana and they're trying to raise money through a GoFundMe link. And I just wanted to put it out there. You guys can donate if you guys would like to. Um, obviously, you don't have to donate anything. But it would be really nice if you guys would. Um, I'm going to leave the GoFundMe link um, probably as my pinned comment. Or it might be in my description box. If it's not in my description box, it'll be in the pinned comment in the comment section below. But yeah, if you guys want to donate to help the cause, go ahead and do that. He grew up seeing, you know, a lot of kids that were homeless on the streets of Accra. I think I'm saying it right in Africa. And it made him want to start an organization to help feed um, homeless children and hopefully get them off of the streets for good. If you guys are interested in donating to the GoFundMe, I'm going to put the link and you guys can go crazy. Any amount would help. Any donation would help. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social medias that are in the link tree in the description box below. But the only one that y'all will really find right now is my Twitter and my TikTok because I do not have Instagram currently. Um, long story, I do not feel like getting into it. But right now, I do not have Instagram. I will have Instagram in the future. I am just off of Instagram for right now. Um, make sure you subscribe. We're almost to 100K, you guys. You guys need to help me get there. Um, also, comment other videos that you guys want to see from me and i love you guys so much i will not do another big break like this again i have another video coming out very 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 soon so definitely make sure you tune in and i will catch you guys in the next video bye